Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're going to be seeing how clean is Revy OS 11. If you don't know, I took a look at this OS earlier this year, and I said that it was the Windows 11 for power users. This is a relatively stripped down, minimal, customized version of Windows 11 designed for those power users. So with that being said, we had a history on this channel for checking out custom Windows builds, so we're going to be seeing how truly clean this OS is. This OS actually still gets updates, as we saw this is the July of 2023 version, 2307. So they're still updating this as time goes on. Now, the one thing I noticed straight off the bat is that there is no Edge or Chrome installed. The only thing that's installed is Brave, with a link to, of course, their Discord server and their website and whatnot. Now, the one thing that I would like to complain about their website before we get into how secure is this, because this doesn't seem very secure to me, is if we go to RevOS Downloads, and let's say Download, and we click on this, it's going to take us to this really weird link right here, um, which we have to click on the parrot, and then we proceed and click here, and then it takes us to another advertisement website, and then it'll take us to another advertisement website before we can actually get into the Revision OS 11 download. Why? I don't know. This this is a bad first impression for someone who's even considering using this on a day-to-day -day basis. Do I recommend downloading this on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, probably not. Look, and then we go to clicksfly.com. They're just trying to earn as much money as possible for downloading their OS because they know they can't make money anywhere anyway else. I really don't like the fact that I have to wait like three minutes just to get the download link and now we're finally at the mega download that is a little ridiculous to me but hey to each their own so the way we've done this on the channel before if you don't know is we typically just download malware bytes and do a system scan um, I know that this is not the best way to assess the safety of an operating system however this is gonna hit a majority of the system settings and the things that could be wrong um, I am aware that you know there are things that can get around malware bytes and things like that but I promise you that this is the best that we can do right now without digging through system files obviously the perfect way would be to use something like Cisco secure endpoint or some high up that gets threat intelligence all the time and then scan the system but we are not that lucky right now so we're just going to scan this with Malware Bytes Premium, and we're going to come back and take a look at the results of the scan, and then we're going to assess truly how safe is Revy OS 11. Now the first thing here is this revision tool, which in the past, tools like this have been caught by Malware Bytes, so I would definitely, um, or this isn't actually what I thought it was. In the previous um, OSs that we've taken a look at have had like crack tools on the desktop, but this is like security, usability, uh, just like Windows stuff, like full, like options for the OS, nothing terrible. But that could actually still get caught by malware bytes. I'm also curious to see if Brave gets caught. So let's, we're in malware bytes premium right now. Let's click on scanner, advanced scanners, custom scan. I don't know what the D drive is. The D drive is the um, CD, so we're going to eject that. And we're only going to scan the C drive. And we want root kits as well. And so that's going to select everything in the C drive and scan. So this is going to take a little bit of time to scan, and then we'll come back and assess what malware bytes finds in this operating system. All right, and our scan has completed, and we have three potentially unwanted modifications, so nothing too bad. The don't offer through WAU, we have two of those, which did come up in our Tiny10 scan a few months ago, which... I believe in the comments this was something with Windows Update, so this is just something to prevent updates or something like that. This isn't actually malware or anything. And now we have this one, which is Software Microsoft Windows Current Version Policies Associations Low Risk File Types. Um, I'm not really sure what that one is, honestly. Um, malware Bytes doesn't give too much other information on that, just the registry key location. But yeah, these are just all little modifications. Um, we can quarantine them if we really want to, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I would say that Revy OS 11 is clean. I mean, there's little modifications that Walmart, Malware, wow, that Malware Bytes identifies as false positives. 
But other than that, um, just from a little surface level scan without digging too deep, I would say that this is safe. Now, does that mean I would recommend using this on a day-to-day -day basis? Absolutely not. I would recommend using just clean Windows 11. I don't recommend ever using a custom version as your daily driver, even if it's safe, because you never know what other issues could arise down the road. For example, if updates are going to break or if who knows what could happen later down the road. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new on here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, see you all in the next one.